Hello, I am Dr. Danny Bushwa, a consultant family medicine at Abu Dhabi Emirates, and today I'm going to speak about a subject which has been all over the news recently, and it is the monkeypox. Uh, our agenda for today, uh, it will be uh, speaking about what is the monkeypox, the geography distribution of monkeypox around the world, how it gets transmitted, the pathogenesis, what are the symptoms if somebody has monkeypox uh, they can have, and how do we test it? So, previously we used to say the monkeypox, now uh, it is referred to as the mpox. So what is mpox or the monkeypox? It is a viral zoonotic disease. What's the meaning of viral zoonotic disease? That means it's a virus which humans, uh, unfortunately, they can uh, get infected with. Originate comes from an animal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so the monkeypox virus is an orthopox virus that is the same, it has the same genes as uh, variola virus. Uh, variola virus, it was, uh, it's the virus which caused smallpox in the past. And it comes from monkeys. And this is how it looks like. What is the uh, geography distribution of the monkeypox? So uh, it was first uh, found in Central and West Africa. It, it's, it, this virus has been around uh, 1970 uh, in Africa. And then uh, in recently in 2022, uh, there's a global multicultural outbreak. So this is the map of Central Africa and West Africa. As you can see, these are the countries where uh, monkeypox has been there since 1970, and these countries are endemic. So monkeypox is still it's not an epidemic like uh, COVID, but it is endemic in Africa, in Central and West Africa. So you have Democratic Republic of Congo, you have Republic of Congo, Gabon, Cameroon, Central Afri African Republic, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, and also there's also South Sudan here. So as you can see, this is Central West Africa. Uh, there's also Ivory Coast, Liberia, Sirena Leone. So these are the countries. And then, as we said, like in 2022, it became, uh, it's all over the world, but it's still, it's not, uh, alhamdulillah, it's not endemic over the world. Uh, and hopefully, like, we can get rid of this uh, virus. Uh, so, as you can see here, this is an endemic in black, that's here in Africa. And then it was reported in Canada, uh, North of America, uh, South of America, and in all Europe, in UK, in uh, Morocco, in Australia. It's suspected, in pink, it's suspected in these countries, but you never know. Like, I'm sure, like, even other countries, they might have uh, monkeypox uh, cases, but maybe it hasn't been reported. We're not sure. Um, so yeah, the global multi-country outbreak was in uh, 2022. It was in Europe. It was in UK, and the public health emergency, uh, the, the public health emergency, was declared on May uh, 2023. So how it gets transmitted? It gets transmitted through uh, through ways. You have from animal to human, and you have from human to human. So animal to human. So it, uh, at first it was from the monkeys. Uh, as monkeys, it can go to um, it can get be transmitted to a human through two ways. It can be through a direct contact through the skin or through the mucous membrane. So if, if a human if he touches a monkey and this monkey has uh, has the monkey box, they they may they may get it. Uh, the other way through, uh, it's through uh, breathing uh, the air droplets. Uh, so you have two ways. You have through breathing and through touching their skin or touching their fluid or touching anything which is affected uh, or infected yeah, by, uh, by the monkeypox. So this is the th first method of transmission. The second method of transmission is through human to human. So again, it's through respiratory droplets. So a lot of people think that, no, monkeypox is not like COVID. Uh, we don't really need to wear a mask. Uh, we, it's because it's just like uh, transmitted through, uh, di like, uh, through um, uh, direct contact of the skin or the mucous membrane, or for example, uh, like touching like uh, things which, um, items which is uh, infected by by the mpox but in reality also it can be like transmitted through breathing so if there's any case or any person suspected monkeypox you need to always protect yourself and wear a mask and if you're a clinician if you're a doctor or nurse and you're listening to this um, uh, to this um, uh, video uh, if you suspect anyone with monkeypox please just take the precaution and wear a mask and even like advise like your staff uh, or like your colleagues to wear it because it's very important and it's not a nice disease to get to be honest and then you have a another method which is vertical transmission uh, and that's through um, 
uh, if, if a woman is pregnant, she has a, she has a baby, uh, this virus can be transmitted, unfortunately, to the baby. And then you have also the other method, which is contact contaminated items. So as I said, if, for example, if somebody has monkeypox and they touch something and then another person comes and touch that thing, they may get, get it. Or if, uh, if, uh, if somebody touches, uh, for example, the rash or the skin of a person or an individual who is affected by monkey virus or touch their fluids, Again, they can get uh, monkeypox. And of course, also there's another method, which is uh, through an uh, intimate relationship. So what is the incubation period of monkeypox? Incubation period, uh, the definition of incubation period is the period where uh, where uh, somebody can be infected with the virus, but they don't have the symptoms yet. Uh, so the, the duration is usually from five to 13 days. However, the duration can range also from four to 21 days. And what are the symptoms? The, same, the famous symptoms of uh, monkeypox, it's um, feeling like uh, muscle aches, myalgia, fever, high temperature, headaches, rash on the face, chills, rashes on hands, palpable lymph nodes, like lumps and bumps, uh, a person will feel it on the neck, fatigue, tiredness, rush on the body, rash on the leg, um, and as we said, yeah, muscle aches. So this is how it looks like. This is the famous rash of monkeypox. It's it's not nice. It's horrible. It's like nodules, and uh, these nodules, after a while, it gets filled with pus, so it becomes like pustules, and unfortunately, it can scar. Um, and this is how it looks like. So this is the stages of the skin lesion of monkeypox. So you have like initially like a, a macule, and then it becomes like a papule, like a small lump, and then then becomes a physical. Physical, it's like a papule, but it's just filled with fluid, and then unfortunately this physical can become a pustule. So what's the difference between a physical and a pustule? A pustule usually it has uh, the fluid becomes pus, and then after that it heals with a scab, and unfortunately this scab can leave like scars. So how do we test it? There's two ways of testing it. You have a viral testing and also like a serology testing. So viral testing is usually through a PCR testing for the orthopox virus DNA. Uh, and that should be performed uh, on the lesion. So for example, remember this lesion, uh, this one here. So they usually take the fluid from this lesion and then they just, they just uh, check for the DNA of the orthopox virus, okay? Uh, and that usually through a swab. Uh, and then the other testing, which is serology through blood. So they're going to check for the antibodies through uh, anti orthopox virus immunoglobulin M. And uh, usually they test from 4 to 56 days after the rash onset. So thank you very much uh, for listening. If you have any questions uh, or any comments, just please leave it at the comment uh, section. Thank you very much. Bye bye now.